this is the seventh program in this uh, from a given vertex in a weighted connected graph find the shortest part to the other vertices using uh, Dijkstra's algorithm at the program in Java okay so here I recommend you to watch the previous video to know how the uh, Dijkstra's algorithm works so it's very important that you know how it works because I'll be assuming that uh, you know the working of uh, Dijkstra's algorithm so I'll be just explaining what is in the code okay so let's uh, discuss the program outline this is the program outline of uh, Dixas algorithm. So the class which we'll be using is uh, Dixas class and inside that we'll have four things here. The first one is the main function and second is the read matrix. Third one is the Dixas algorithm and fourth one is the extract minimum. So let's uh, discuss each one by one. In main function we'll be calling the read matrix. Okay. Read matrix will uh, we'll be discussing what it does. Then after that what will happen is it gets the input means the starting vertex. Okay. So if there's a, a graph like this here which is connected. Okay. So the which uh, vertex we call here that is the starting vertex okay and that vertex what we'll be finding is from this vertex to all other vertices which is the shortest uh, shortest path okay so that's the disc, uh, Dijkstra's algorithm after getting s we'll be passing s in the Dijkstra's algorithm now let's uh, discuss the second one which is read matrix in read matrix we'll uh, get the number of vertices means um, suppose that this the graph here so this is the three number of uh, three vertices here so the number of vertices will be three and get the cost adjacency matrix cost adjacency matrix means if uh, suppose that this is the graph okay four uh, vertices are there one two three and four okay and we have the edges like this okay so the cost agency matrix will be having the vertices in the rows and the columns one two three four and here also one two three and four for each column we'll be having the weight here okay means from one to two if there is an edge there will be a weight here and it will be a directed graph okay so 1 to 2 what weight is there that is not same as 2 to 1 so uh, 2 to 1 will be having a different weight okay so in that way we'll be um, initializing the adjacency matrix and after that what happens is the Dijkstra's algorithm is called in uh, Dijkstra's algorithm we are using two arrays s of i and d of i what does s of i do s of i will store means uh, which all the vertices are visited means see here if this is the graph in this case um, if we uh, visit uh, visit to this one means if we find the shortest uh, shortest distance to this vertex this will be marked as one then we'll go for the next one then we'll mark this also as one then we'll go for this one we'll mark as one and then we'll go for this one okay so like that uh, for storing that which is uh, which vertices are visited to avoid repetition of the same vertices we are using s of i okay so after that happens then uh, what we'll be doing is this one and d of i will be using what is d of i a of s and i s is the source vertex which we pass means uh, if this is the um, graph here if we pass one as a source vertex we will be finding the distance from one to all the other vertices um, iteratively means first one to zero then one to one one to two one to three like that okay and each of those distance uh, distance will be stored in d of i so the distance from the source vertex to the first vertex will be stored in d of i d of one then to the second vertex in d of two third vertex d of three and so on till the last vertex okay and uh, d of i has all the values from the source vertex to the other vertices okay then we have to find the minimum distance from the um, node it is selected okay it means u what we'll do uh, what we'll do is we'll find the shortest uh, we'll find the nearest node to the source node if this is the source node there are uh, three uh, four other nodes here which is the nearest one this is the nearest one right so in the first iteration we'll select this node what we'll do if we select this node then we will find d of u it's already stored in the uh, d array d of u will be found out then by comparing this node to the all other uh, vertices here this one this one and this one what we will do is first we will find out what is the distance from this node to this node that is present in the matrix here adjacency matrix okay that will give us this uh, distance then what we will do is we will add this distance and this distance means d of u and uh, a of u and v then we will see if uh, this distance is greater or smaller than the direct distance this is the direct distance from uh, uh, the source to the node is this greater or this one is greater which is greater we will reject that because we want the shortest path sometimes this will be greater and sometimes this will be greater based on that we will set the d of u value okay d of, uh, d of uh, u value will be set as uh, if this is shorter then d of uh, u will be copied to this uh, address if this is shorter then d of u will be having the uh, value of this uh, this um, this line plus this line okay it uh, doesn't look like uh, how can uh, d of u be smaller than this one plus this one but i have not drawn it actually it's not like this so i recommend you to watch the previous video 
which i have uh, put in the link uh, description box so you'll get a clear idea of how this works okay but uh, it's uh, roughly uh, like this if you watch that video you'll uh, know what um, i mean to say here so after that uh, we will get all the minimum distances in d of u in d array we'll have all the minimum distances from the source vertex okay so here what we did is first we will use uh, in the first iteration we will select this array and we'll find the minimum distance in the second iteration we'll select this array and find the minimum distance to all of this from uh, through this one then in the third array in third iteration and the fourth iteration so finally we'll get the minimum because all possible combinations will try and see which is the shortest one finally we'll have the array in the d array we'll have all the shortest distances which will be outputting okay so let's see in the java code how it works this is the java class which is uh, dextra's class and this class is uh, totally this much and here what we have is some um, uh, variables we have defined the first one is max uh, which is defined to be 20 infinity is defined to be 9999 and n is the number of uh, vertices of g means how many vertices are there in the graph and a stores the adjacency matrix and scan is the um, object for the taking the input okay and coming to void main first uh, read, mat uh, read matrix will be called what it will do it will initialize an array of uh, size 20 and 20 it will take the number of vertices there and it will take the cost adjacency, uh, cost adjacency matrix okay after the read matrix uh, gets over we will initialize s as 0 first which is the starting vertex then we will take the input from the user what is the starting vertex that one will be passed to dextra's algorithm okay and after this uh, comes here to dextra's algorithm we will have two arrays s and d s is for um, storing the visited nodes how many uh, nodes are visited and d is for storing the minimum distances from the source node okay then uh, what we are doing is here we are initializing s of i as 0 means all the values of s are 0 initially because none of the nodes are visited and d of i will be having the uh, values of um, from the source to the ith vertex okay means from the source to all the other vertices what is the initial values this, the distances will be stored here okay then uh, we are not visiting from source to source so it will be made as 1 whichever node is made as 1 it means it's visited d of s means the distance from source to uh, from source to source is initialized as 1 okay now in the while uh, while loop what we are doing is we are running for um, i minus n minus 1 times because if there are four vertices we have to check three vertices okay and in each iteration what we are doing extract minimum s and d is getting passed here what is this function extract minimum in extract minimum what we'll do is um, we'll find the minimum uh, minimum distance here first minimum is in, uh, initialized as infinity then we'll be checking each node from the source vertex c d of i means the distance to the ith vertex from the source vertex okay so see here suppose that this is the source vertex and this is the other vertices okay and the minimum is defined as infinite okay what we'll be doing is we'll be checking this dis uh, uh, this distance if it is uh, like 10 is 10 less than infinite if it's uh, if it's uh, less than infinite this will be made as 10 okay then we'll be checking the next node here uh, is uh, if this is 5 here is 5 less than the minimum which is 10 yes 5 is less than minimum so we'll be making uh, minimum as 5 the next one is also check if this is 7 here it will not be changed because minimum is 5 here okay then minimum node which we get here that will be selected here okay and the selected node will be passed in j here which is minimum that will um, that will be uh, stored in j and then we'll be returning j if you return j what will happen see here if you return j then uh, where does j go j will be returned back to the u okay then s of u will be made as 1 because the minimum distance to that uh, vertex is found out then after that we will be running the loop from uh, 1 to n means all the other vertices we are checking means d of u plus a of u v means from the source vertex see this is the source vertex here this is the source vertex and from the source vertex to the u vertex which is the um, shortest means the nearest uh, node which we selected as j uh, in the previous line of code that will be uh, selected here and from here we'll be checking all the other nodes okay from u to here from here to here okay what we'll be doing is this is known as d of u distance till u okay distance uh, till u plus the distance of uh, these are the v nodes okay initially uh, we'll be uh, in, we'll be iteratively uh, calculating for each of these nodes okay so uh, we will be running from 1 to n so first this node will be selected okay what we'll be finding is this distance is known as a of u v okay this is known as a of u v okay this will be getting from the cost adjacency matrix okay what we'll do is uh, is this distance plus this distance smaller is this smaller than d of v d of v means 
direct path to this one is this smaller or this one is smaller sometimes this one will be smaller sometimes this one will be smaller based on that d of p will become that value okay and s of p should be zero means it should not be visited if it's visited then we'll go on to the next node we'll not check it repeatedly okay so by that we'll get the uh, nearest distance from s to the other vertices through u okay next we'll be doing the same thing for the um, next iteration in next iteration since u is already visited what we'll do is we'll select either of this one when we we'll select either of this one then we'll find out through this one means d of u this is d of u plus a of u v is less than d of v or not then the same thing for this one from here d of u plus a of u v is less than d of v or not like that we'll be doing iteratively for all the um, elements through all the elements okay when we do that we'll have an array of d wherein we'll have all the uh, shortest vertices since we tried all the combinations here we'll have all the shortest paths from the uh, source vertex to the other vertices then in the d array we'll be printing here okay after we get that value here finally we'll uh, print the d array here okay so here i have the output here so if you see this output the number of vertices are six this is the um, same one as i, I have um, put the link in the description box a graph i have taken that graph is um, written here with the adjacency matrix and the starting vertex is one and as you can see in that video also and uh, here also i'm getting the same answer so this is all what you have to do in this program let's move on to the next one